Alright, welcome YouTube. <laughs> this is our uh, Icewind Dale 2 Let's Play. I'm Frago Rock, and this is Dropper. And Hello guys. And we went through uh, hell to get this running, so fingers crossed that it's not going to crash or do anything crazy. But uh, <laughs> so far it's been fun. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, we just skipped the da dialogue from the first guy in the boat. Um, his name was uh, Hadrian. Sort of like the Hajin Collider, but anyway. Um, and now we're going to start to see what's up with the town. We can hear goblins around, and we think that uh, we can put our skills to use. Uh, I'm a cleric, and he's a fighter, so I'm going to let Chopper lead. Go for it. Go get him, Tiger. All right. <laughs> um, do we have to talk to these guys, or uh, uh, can we just uh, we, move along? Let's move along. We already talked to them. All right. So let's head up and grab our gear. I think I see some oh swords yeah. and stuff. Let me take this sword. I think you already have a sword because uh, I imported oh yeah. your character from the old save. So I see. you should still be pretty uh, ready to go. Yep, I'm fully loaded. Awesome. So basically we played the intro part of this game about Oh, what is it? Five times <laughs> trying to get it to work, <laughs> and it very frustrating. Every time, every time we'd save the game, it would crash. Uh, one of us would crash, and then I would just a headache. This ends now. But uh, what we had to do is we did a fresh install, both of us, and installed the official patch and the official mod, and that's it. Nothing else. We were going to have a couple of community mods in here, but. It was far too annoying to try to get it all away, so... I'm gonna adjust my volume a bit more. I gotta turn down my sound effects a bit. Okay, wait a second. I have to turn it down too. Okay. Uh, you're gonna, you guys are going to notice a little bit of a graphics anomalies with the uh, fog of war, but uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not worried. Alright, so let's head down. Let's kill some more of these goblins. Is it me or don't I see any difference with the normal version of the game and the high resolution mod? Um, or something? Or high qu quality? Don't know what it's called. Yeah, the widescreen mod. Yeah, the, the widescreen would make you, you be able to see more. But uh, Yeah, but uh, there was also another mod. Oh, no, no, no. There was something else, I think. Oh, the. Oh, never, never mind it. Oh, the 1pp mods? Yeah, they just. You wouldn't have been able to notice the difference for those anyway. Alright. Agreed. So you wait right there in the corner, and I'm going to pop open this. Oh yeah, of course. This, this, yes, because we've been through this a couple times. There's a trap chest here. And uh, we, th we both don't want to get caught in it, basically. Well, I think I better can uh, get out of the room. Uh, you should be okay. Okay, actually... There, I, I didn't get knocked out. Agreed. But I do now, I now have my leather armor and my helmet to put on. So I think we're good to go. Awesome. Um, there's some guys in here. It's not that important. Let's go talk to, I guess, let's go talk to one guy in here. It'll save us from coming back. Oops. Okay, we're good. I'm on it. So basically, these are um, a mercenary band from some town or whatever, and they're kind of jackasses, and they don't really, uh, <laughs> they don't, they don't want to help the town. So uh, d they rather drink than fight. Exactly, exactly. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna quickly go through the conversation because, as much. You know, I'm, we're not very good at <laughs> providing intriguing dialogue to our audience, so well, I'll give you the general gist of what they're saying. I'll Basically, help. like I said, they don't want to help, so.
Let's go kill some more goblins. There's some in the upper dock area here. Here I come, and the hells come with me. You know, I actually like the look of the game. It looks very um, well de detailed. Yeah. There's much detail in the game. Yeah, that's uh, that's why I really like the engine that's been built on. The it's called the Infinity Engine, and a lot of the games have really nice detailed graphics like this. Uh, started with Baldur's Gate, then you got Baldur's Gate 2, uh, Planscape Torment, and uh, Icewind Dale 1 and 2. They all have this nice yeah. this nice style to them, which I think they're more attractive to look at than uh, like something like Neverwinter Nights, which is although it's 3D, it's not as you know attractive <laughs> in my opinion. So um, I'm also wondering, is the whole land um, covered in snow? Yeah, we're oh yeah, there goes the color. exploded. We're in a, a northern part of the world called uh, Icewind Dale. Oh, so it's just a, a small part of the world, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's, it's a small part of the northern world. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of ice, a lot of bad guys, monsters and stuff. <laughs> which is appropriate. Um, compared to the other games like Baldur's Gate, this one's more combat heavy. So it's going to make for a better let's play, I think. Simply because we we enjoy you know gameplay as opposed to role playing, which is good for other LPers, but it's not uh, it's it's certainly not my forte oh, yeah. to role play the uh, characters. Okay, who are you? Okay, so. We're looking for healing potions. Basically, a long sentence, or a long conversation, right. and uh, basically, th there's healing potions inside this large warehouse, and we're going to find it. Mm -hmm. I know the routine. Show me a target, and I'll smash it. Okay, hope. I better come down here. Goblins. Goblins. Not that they're very hard. But you're the fighter. I'll heal you. Now, um... Now, Jopper, you told me you're unfamiliar with Dungeons and Dragons rules. So basically, all well, I, I I actually know some things about it. Okay. I got a friend who plays it sometimes. So all right. yeah. you can get through this game without really knowing any of the rules. But uh, basically, the main thing about weapons and to hit is you want to be able to raise your attack high enough that you hit more often. Because you'll notice that these low levels were hardly being able to hit them. But. Uh, as we gain levels and as we gain better weapons, we'll be able to increase our to hit roll, which in turn would allow us to hit them more often. Which is, uh, as you can tell, is very useful. And as some of you watching would realize by now, we don't actually have a full party. We only have two characters, and uh, it's. It's going to make for a really interesting uh, gameplay dynamic because where I can heal him and he kind of tanks the damage, we don't have anyone to support for, say, picking locks. So we're going to have to hope that we can force the locks with our weapons. Um, like I said, people have done it before, so it's not like it's impossible, right. but it's going to be a nice challenge. Wow. Okay, so I passed, I passed you some healing items if you want to take a... Oh, uh, I got some too. Maybe uh, you want some too. I've got um, six of those rations in total now. Okay, yeah, the iron rations. Yeah, so you can pass me three yeah. of them if you want. Three? Yeah, so we both have three. And one potion. Um.
Here you go. Perfect. So I think we're ready to head out of here. There's a small bag by your foot. What's in this? Oh, it's another, yeah, another ration. So I'll just equip that one for now. All right, so let's find out where these goblins are coming from. I'm on it. Now, if you checked all the dialogue, they would mention that someone's over here, or like the goblins are coming from this side of town. Okay, some guy's talking to us. I can't see him. He must be invisible. Mm-hmm. Invisible? Uh, I don't see him uh, either. Alright, so... Stand back. That's weird. I don't know where that guy is, but it really doesn't matter. So... Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna quick save and see if it crashes. <laughs> Alright. Fingers crossed. Uh, do, I, do I have to go in window mode? Um, let's both go into window mode. Actually, I, right. I can go into window mode because my graphics will mess up a little bit. So, do I have to? Uh, nope. Hold your breath. Let's try it. Uh, yes. We're here? We're still here? Yeah, awesome. I'm still here. Great. Alright, so let's break into this building. Must have been all those mods we had that were conflicting. It, it feels very good. <laughs> yeah, I think we I think we finally got a, a stable a stable gameplay going. I really hope so. Yeah, it it's a it, it is an interesting fun game once we get into it. These starter levels are a little bit slower, uh, but Well I'm actually uh, enjoying the game already, so well, there you go. I'm glad you do. It's it's uh, one of my favorite. Not not specifically Icewind Dale 2, but the 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 entire Infinity Engine games are my favorite. Yeah. Well, I really want to check out uh, Baldur's Gate and uh, Neverwinter Nights. Yeah. I'm really interested. Yeah, for sure. But um, is it is it the same fighting engine as this game? Um, for Baldur's Gate, yes. Um, Neverwinter Nights is in 3D. It uses the same um, rules, like dice rolls and stuff. But it's in mm -hmm. 3D and it looks, um, it's a different style um, to it. But uh, certainly, that's something that uh, we can always try. Alright then. So, uh, are we ready to go down? Uh, let's take a quick look at the chests in this room first, though. There's a bit more. If you press Alt, you can take a look around. Yeah, I see. I see a big axe. Okay, uh, my guy picked up too much stuff, so he can't actually walk that fast, so I'm gonna drop some extra weight. Oh, so you're actually walking slower now, yeah. when you, um, carry more stuff. Yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a bunch of stuff on the floor there, and just... Alright, let's head into the, uh, head into the secret passage. Ready. Oops, I went first. I'm on it. I should try, I should stop going first. Here. Because uh, I'm the cleric. I'm I'll handle it. Not All right, here we go. Let's kill these goblins. Oh, I'm taking, taking a hit. Okay, let's see how much experience we need to level up. Shouldn't be. Where can you Where can you see that? Uh, on the character sheet. Uh, what button is it? I think it's the R button. Yeah. Yeah, I see. So I'm about. So where is the where where does it stand? It says. Um, oh yeah, where it says. It's current. Yeah, it's the next level for. It's a thousand experience for me. How much do you uh, have currently? Just under 500, so I'm about halfway there. Oh. All right. You should be a little bit higher than me. You should be about seven. Yeah, I got 568. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. <laughs> 